In this fast ProPresenter 7 tutorial, we're going to talk about the interface of ProPresenter and look at where all the buttons are. Let's get started. So here we are in ProPresenter and we're just going to quickly go around and talk about all of the buttons. So we have our libraries up here, which is where we can store our content and it saves the content to. We have our playlists here, which is where we create our presentations. So playlists are, let's say, a whole event or service that are made up of multiple presentations. So here, when I click playlist, you'll see down here, each one of these sections is called a presentation in ProPresenter. To add a new presentation, we click the plus, we can add a library, a presentation, or a playlist. Down here, we can add headers into our playlist so that we understand the structure of our playlist. In the middle view, we have all of our slides and all the media that we're using for our event and our presentation. Over here on the right hand side, we have our preview screen. We have all the ability to clear anything individually or everything at once. We have our media controls here. So if I'm playing a video, it'll show you how long to go. We can skip it, play it, same with music. Here is our audio bin where our audio is stored. Um, down here is also our audio bin. Now we have our media button, which shows us all of our media options when we have media. So we can have our default and our sample content, and this can be arranged into folders. So in here at the moment is all the sample content that comes with ProPresenter that you can install. Have options for video inputs. If we want to use cameras with our devices, we have all of our buttons for during a presentation that we might need. So timers, messages, props, and stage. We have our editing buttons over here in this section with more editing buttons down here as well. The search, the text, the theme, and of course our menus up the top. So that is a quick introduction to the layout in ProPresenter 7. Thanks for watching this fast ProPresenter 7 tutorial. Don't forget that if you found this confusing or you'd like more information, our longer tutorials can be found on our YouTube channel.